After the asteroid hit 66 million years ago, mammals quickly took over and thrived. During the Paleocene and Eocene, warm-blooded creatures evolved and dominated Earth's ecosystems. From towering herbivores to fearsome predators, their adaptations paved the way for modern mammals. Let's dive into the cool mammals after the dinosaurs. In South America's Paleocene jungles, Titanobo acetrogenesis, a massive 42-foot constrictor, cleared the way for them. Mammals like Pucadelphes and Dinus, a small opossum-like marsupial, thrived in its wake, scurrying through undergrowth to eat insects and fruits. Fossils from Columbia S. Mines show these early mammals, about the size of a rat, had flexible diets and social behaviors, allowing them to exploit new niches as paleontological studies reveal. Their adaptability in a warming world laid the groundwork for larger descendants. By the Eocene, 56 to 33.9 million years ago, Eunotherium anceps, a rhinoceros-sized herbivore, roamed North American plains. With a bizarre skull, sporting horn-like knobs, and saber-like canines, this four-ton beast grazed on tough plants, as shown by fossilized teeth found in Wyoming's Green River Formation. Its tank-like build deterred predators, filling the role of dinosaurian giants. Its success, per Journal of Vertebrate Paleontology, highlights how mammals scaled up to dominate post-dinosaur landscapes, rivaling the size of earlier reptiles. In the oceans, Basilosaurus cetoids, a 60-foot whale, ruled as an apex predator by the late Eocene. Unlike modern whales, this serpentine mammal found in fossils from Egypt to Alabama had sharp teeth and hunted sharks and smaller whales as stomach contents reveal. Its sleek body and tiny hind limbs show how land animals evolved into ocean giants. Basilosaurus shows how mammals ruled ancient seas. Paraceratherium, the biggest land mammal ever, stood 16 feet tall during the Oligocene. A hornless rhino from Mongolia weighed 20 tons and had a long neck for browsing. Its massive size, free from dinosaur competition, allowed it to thrive without natural predators, shaping early savannas. Its range shows how mammals filled mega-herbivore roles once held by sauropods. Even smaller predators, like Hyanodon horridus, a wolf-sized carnivore, ruled North American Eocene forests. With bone-crushing jaws, it tackled prey like early horses, as bite marks on fossils confirm. Its speed and ferocity, studied in paleontology journals, made it a top predator in a world without velociraptors. From Paraceratherium to Hyanodon, these mammals sculpted by a dinosaur-free world, forged diverse empires setting the stage for today's wildlife. 